Rhinoplasty ranks among the most commonly performed procedures in plastic surgery. The surgery aims to correct both functional impairments and cosmetic deformities of the nose. The main advantage of open rhinoplasty lies in the surgeon's ability to directly visualize all operative maneuvers, thereby enhancing the precision and predictability of the outcome. Open rhinoplasty is performed under general anesthesia. In addition, local infiltrative anesthesia is administered using a combination of a local anesthetic and epinephrine. This provides profound analgesia, temporary hemostasis through visoconstriction, and facilitates hydrodissection. The procedure begins with an incision along the columella that extends into the nasal vestibular mucosa. Mucocutaneous flap is then elevated, exposing the cartilaginous and bony framework of the external nose. Skeletonization follows. Soft tissues are carefully dissected from the lower lateral cartilages, the nasal septum, and the osseous framework, ensuring optimal visualization of anatomical structures. A cephalic trim of the alar cartilages is executed. The superior portions of the alar cartilages are partially excised, and the remaining segments are reshaped and sutured to restore symmetry. The osteocartilaginous dorsal hump is subsequently removed. An osteotome is used to resect the protruding bony and cartilaginous components. followed by refinement with a rasp to achieve a smooth and balanced nasal profile. The next stage involves lateral osteotomy via controlled longitudinal cuts along the frontal processes of the maxilla. This technique allows for closure of the open roof deformity and narrowing of the nasal dorsum, thereby restoring proper anatomical configuration. The ALR cartilages are then reshaped and sutured to define the nasal tip. Next, alar base reduction is performed by excising redundant skin and placing fine cosmetic sutures. This narrows the nasal base and enhances harmony in the lower third of the face. Finally, all incisions are closed with fine atraumatic sutures. Intranasal sponge tampons are inserted to stabilize the septum and prevent postoperative bleeding. Externally, the nose is taped and a plaster cast is applied to immobilize the nasal bones and preserve the surgical outcome. Thus, open rhinoplasty enables simultaneous correction of structural deformities and restoration of functional nasal breathing, offering both aesthetic and medical benefits.